Look, I wanna tell you something that I noticed in my life. So I'm kind of curious to see if this happens to other people. This is something that took me years to actually notice and I never thought it was real until I experienced it firsthand, you know? Okay, let's get started with the video. I don't know who I am. So what I'm basically talking about is the law of momentum. For those of you who never heard of the law of momentum, it pretty much states that an object that rest tends to stay at rest and an object in motion tend to stay in motion unless acted upon by an outside force. I surprisingly learned that in high school physics class, but it never really registered in my brain until now. Before consciously knowing that this law was taking place in my life, I didn't know how to describe what I was experiencing. So here's what happened. Whenever I was feeling lazy or didn't feel like working on something, my whole life would come into a complete stop. Like every time I stopped working, for some reason, my whole life would do the same. To be honest with you, at that time, it felt like no one wanted to fuck with me. I barely received any text messages, barely any emails, barely any notifications on Instagram, and shit, even my mom stopped calling me. Not only that, but after sitting on the couch and watching Netflix all day, I just had this horrible feeling in my heart. It was, it was so weird. And like, I felt down for no reason. Like I'm watching my favorite series. I'm supposed to feel good. I'm supposed to feel some type of joy. But my mind was like turning negative. Like I was thinking of negative shit without even having a reason to. And when I did call my friends to hang out that day, they gave me some reasons of why they couldn't. My Instagram crush even left me on red. I know, right? Who would do such a thing? So all this stuff made me feel pretty shitty and like borderline depressed, you know what I'm saying? Like unmotivated to do anything at all. I started thinking like, what the hell am I gonna do in my life? I started questioning people's intentions towards me. I even started eating unhealthy. Fuck a salad, give me that pizza. I was getting myself into a dark place that was hard to get out of. And this cycle lasted for a couple of hours, which led to a couple of days, which led to a couple of weeks. Shit even turned into months. To be honest with you, it felt like hypnosis. I was completely paralyzed and unable to control my life or the circumstances that happened to it. The feeling was unpleasant AF. That means as fuck for those who don't know, like the older folks that are watching my videos. It's okay, all right, moving on. So after experiencing all that, I got tired of it. So I decided to make a change in my life. I got out of that negative hole and everything in my life started changing for the better. And here's what happened. I started moving. I literally started moving. Like I got out of the house and literally started walking simple as that. So I started walking every day and then I went on hikes some other days and believe it or not, I even started exercising. On these walks, I put on my headphones and started listening to some motivating stuff, like just to get my mind thinking positive again. And at the same time, I was getting some dopamine from the exercises I was doing, which made me feel good, which got me inspired to actually work on something creative, which then got me into a flow state, which then created a momentum that good things just started happening in my life. So guess what happened? People started to hit me up when I was busy. I got random emails with some good job opportunities. Even my Instagram crush at the time was commenting on my videos and responding to my DMs. I was like, how is this all happening at once? So after experiencing like this positive trend and then going back to the negative multiple times in my life, I became like very curious on how to control it because I didn't want to be a victim of it anymore, you know? So I actually tested this theory and purposely became lazy just to see what would happen. And just like that, all the negative things that I previously experienced started to come back in my life again. Yes, my Instagram crush stopped texting back. But this time I was conscious of why it was happening. Then I did another test where I forced myself to stay busy even if I didn't have anything else to do. I made sure I wouldn't sit still just so I could test this goddamn theory. I tried to do any little productive activity I could think of. I would like literally dirty some dishes just so I can wash it again. I would read a book even if I didn't feel like it, I would just do it. Or even write something just so I wouldn't be at rest. And just what I expected, the little work I was doing led to more work somehow. It was leading me to a bunch of positive things things because I was in motion at all times, which led me to a happier place in life because I wasn't sitting pondering on my thoughts because you know, your thoughts, they, they tend to go negative. I don't know if you know that or not, but you know, they go negative <laughs> most of the times. The hardest part of all this is not letting laziness take over because after a while it does get exhausting and you know, I just want to sit back 
watch some Netflix, bro. You know, that's it. I like to sit back and do nothing. Like, who doesn't? But that's something I gotta push through when the laziness kicks in, no matter what. Till today, I'm still trying to become a successful full-time content creator. Not a full-time content consumer. So once I came into this realization, I started studying people who are doing great in their life and I noticed that they're all in motion. They're always focused on something, which gives them no time to sit and think, or else they wouldn't be doing the things that they're currently doing. So there you have it. That's the law of momentum. The couch potato stays a couch potato, while other people go out, take action, bust their ass every single day in order to achieve more. So what separates the achievers from the couch potato? Momentum! Momentum is a powerful force that can lead you to all your goals. So that's my conclusion for this thesis. I guess high school actually did teach me something. And I can't believe I just said that out loud. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any thoughts about this, leave a comment down below. If you disagree with me, still leave a comment as long as you do something. If it's a positive comment or a negative comment, I don't give a fuck. Just write something down. It all helps with the algorithm. And if you guys are interested in some uh-oh gear, go to uhomarty.com and uh, buy something. See you next week. I'm gonna leave frame this time, okay? because that's something cool that YouTubers do, which is like this. All right, peace. Whoa.